this is Kid Massive and you're watching tophousemusicblog.com. So originally I am from Denmark, I come from the city of Copenhagen. It's a wonderful city, it's, um, it's one of my favourite cities because of the actual size. It's big enough to warrant being called a city, it has all the architecture, the historical monuments that a city might require, but at the same time it's small enough for you to actually be able to see the whole thing in a very short time, space of time and also be able to do it on foot or a bicycle as opposed to public transport or car. It's also the city of cool. Um, Denmark boasts a lot of very famous modern designers. Uh, Arne Jakobsen is, is one of them and obviously the Sydney Opera House was designed by a Danish company which is absolutely fantastic for such a small country. So if you haven't been to Denmark I would uh, strongly recommend that you go and visit. The inspiration for wanting to become a DJ actually stems back from about 1987, 1988 where I used to listen to a New York DJ called DJ Kid Capri and I was absolutely blown away by his mix shows and his skills on the turntables. Um, in terms of who influenced me to become a house music producer, well that would have to be Kevin Saunderson from Inner City. Um, his 1998 album Inner City Paradise was the first album I actually ever bought myself and I still have it to this very day and it basically um, it, it just gave me the energy and, and the want to become part of that dance music scene. I still rate it as one of the best albums that's ever been made and if you ever get the chance to see In The City Live or Kevin Saunderson I definitely think you should. He's, a, he's an absolutely fantastic DJ and producer so it would be DJ Kid Capri and In The City. Probably one of the biggest gigs that I've ever had in my career, and my career spans pretty much as a DJ 20 years, would have to be headlining the marquee stage at the Food Europe Festival in Japan. Um, it was, just, the backdrop was actually Fuji Mountain, you know, my tent was 15,000 Japanese electro progressive fans that were just going absolutely mental. Hands down, the best event I've ever played at. Music-wise, I love pretty much everything. Um, I have a very eclectic taste. I love Miles Davis, I love Marilyn Manson, I love the Beastie Boys, I love Kraftwerk, I love Inner City, you know, I love Nas. I love, if it's good, it's good. It doesn't really matter what, what type of genre it is. I don't actually have very much dance music on my iPod, purely based on I make it, I DJ it, I listen to enough of it at home. I, don't, I really don't want to listen to it when I'm out traveling or I'm on a plane or on my way to a gig. So yeah, it definitely have to be an eclectic mix of, of music. That's, um, that's pretty much what, what emphasizes me as a person. My favorite piece of studio equipment, hands down, would have to be my handmade, hand-built, hand-designed um, tube tech stereo compressor. Um, is actually made from valves which used to be part of an old submarine so it's, it's pretty amazing the, the warmth and the depth of the actual uh, compressor is, is second to none it doesn't give you the, the, the compression of digital compressors nowadays which is just like full of pump it just gives you that warmth subtle hint of meshing all the sounds together and it's, it's a piece of, piece of hardware that I would never get rid of very expensive and um, yeah, one of the best investments I've ever done. So thank you Tube Tech for making an amazing piece of equipment. As a producer who's been making records professionally and full time since 2004 and DJing for over 20 years, I would have to say the one biggest piece of advice I could give any budding producers is take your time and learn your craft properly. Don't just go out and because you have logic or reason or Appleton and think I'm a producer. No, you have to sit down and you have to take your time to learn how to create music. You also need to work on your identity, find out who are you as a person, what kind of music inspires you, what do you like to listen to, what direction do you want to go in. Also you need to think of the business aspect of things which is, is your Facebook up, up to date, do you have a Twitter account, is your SoundCloud ready? Uh, do you have an Instagram page? All of these things need to be connected to the website, which is your, your portal page. So with one click, all your fans need to know everything about you 
Um, the day and age of, of multiple clicks on websites, no, people's attention spans right now are far too short. So my, my recommendation for anyone out there, keep your business, like make sure that you sell your product to your utmost ability and work really hard in the studio and just focus on what you want to do, how you want to do it. That's the name of the game. That's what it's all about.